Dear colleagues, since my topic is quite uh, clear and uh, brief, I, uh, that's why I uh, uh, can. Uh, uh, I decided just to discuss a bit the uh, patient management uh, as well, and uh, what. And I'd like uh, to to revisit uh, and switch slides myself. So, like once again to greet our uh, uh, foreign colleagues with a great word of thanks as they managed to come here and participate in our oncological forum. We do our oncological forum always with the support from ESGO. And uh, when I prepared to do my talk, to give my talk, actually, I was uh, quite, so to say, uh, responsible about it and tried to find uh, references to the works of our well-known colleagues uh, who uh, actually participated in our studies, both Michael and Leon and Matthew, where we are lucky to have them here. And through cross-references, I entered the ESGO website where uh, one can, if you are an ESGO member, though there's also open access uh, articles, uh, but they have uh, the uh, uh, state of art presentations of our guests, so we can uh, watch them uh, and enjoy them once again. Um, some of them are even given as uh, uh, PPT presentations, so the society is completely open for us, and they do uh, whatever it takes just to, they, 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 they try to cooperate, to communicate with the Russian Federation. I don't know if the, uh, uh, so I think the uh, our society co uh, we is in contact with ESGO, so through the website of our uh, society, you can enter the website of ESGO and uh, uh, study the uh, presentations uh, on the uh, uh, treatment of uh, of GTD. So can you can just link to watch those slides, uh, hopefully. So we hope for this collaboration and we do witness this uh, huge activity. Svetlana Tolyevna uh, uh, and, and Delenna and others, uh, when, and, uh, when, we met, uh, when we were challenged with a real uh, heart case of trophoblastic disease and was a huge dilemma in treating this patient. Michael, with his group, they joined us, they, so to say, communicated with us. They, uh, they organized a real uh, strong tumor board and all of this in a day or in a couple of days. We got a response from them and managed to work out this issue. They help us out with that. And I hope that we will collaborate in the future also. And talking about my, uh, back, turning back to my talk about the disease staging, well, actually, uh, there are all available resources here. As the previous talks, they already mentioned this uh, classification topic, uh, the classification, the double chew classification of GTD. So uh, you, we know this uh, double chew classification of 2014. If you don't have in PDF, I'm ready to share it with you. Uh, Modern classification is talking about the uh, complete partial uh, uh, mole, invasive, non-invasive, and also there is a classic histological classification as well. So the tumor is also uh, has uh, classifications according to TNM and FIGO, and this is uh, uh, strongly different from traditional, from conventional oncological classifications. Here, the tumor, if uh, uh, if it is uh, uterus limited, in stage one, uh, uh, beyond uterus in stage uh, uh, stages uh, two, three, stage C is lungs metastasis, and four stage it de depends on distant metastasis in, as in lungs or in other organs. That's difference. That's a difference uh, from previous stages. But what's important when classifying this tumor, uh, this uh, scale of risk factors. That's a crucial key issue which we have to pay attention to when we plan uh, patient treatment. 
actually this classification is available. If you have a WHO classification of tosulfatine on your table, then every patient uh, according to this classification should be uh, graded. Uh, and then you calculate number of points for each of the patients. You score them, and then it will work. It could be used as those limits, those uh, the framework, which we could, uh, which help, which will then define the further patient management. Talking about the classification staging, that's it, I suppose, and it's available. website it's uh, we have them there is a Russian version of that if you need I can uh, share it with you in a PDF form so I don't want to take much of your time on that and I would uh, prefer to give a floor to uh, other speakers uh, who would discuss in details the uh, uh, treatment of uh, GTD of high risk of low risk. We'll talk about uh, where or about the place of surgery in treat uh, for GTD treatment. So that's that's the end of my short presentation. I would like to pass marker from further to the next speaker.